Well, you may want to turn down your music while driving through Mount Dora. The city just rolled out a new noise ordinance. News 6's Brian Didlake has what you need to know from Lake County. So I was able to speak with Chief Mead from the Mountain Door Police Department, who says for the next month or so, his department will be issuing out flyers in this educational pier for the new noise ordinance to curb any future violations. This is the type of loud noise which officers say can land you a noise violation ticket due to it being heard over 50 feet away. Literally at least once a day, I'll get a call. Uh, and on s specific days where we have events, I, I might receive numerous calls. Chief Brett Mead says he helped create the ordinance and says although he hasn't kept a record of noise complaints he's received to warrant the regulation, it's still a major issue here in Mount Dora. It's not about the lyrics, it's not about the content of the lyrics. It's about the noise level. A chief Mead says in order for his officers to issue a citation, they need to see and hear it happen and also capture it on camera. So the most important aspect, again, is to ensure that the ordinance is being uh, enforced um, professionally, without bias, and to ensure that constitutional guarantees are in place. The new ordinance now makes playing loud music punishable by a fine. The first violation is $100, and by the third, $350. Someone's in their vehicle, and their, 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 their music is loud, they, can, they can't hear an emergency vehicle. They might not hear a pedestrian or, or someone uh, uh, in, in a vicinity. Uh, going forward, the chief says for his department to remain unbiased when handing out these noise violations, they'll be analyzing data from demographics like age, race, and gender. In Mountain Dora, Brian Dillett getting results, News 6.